Hi everyone, welcome back for another video. This time I'm doing a Young Nails Caption Conversion application for you. Uh, I just wanted to show the process of this system, how easy it is to use and how uh, smooth and beautiful it looks. So here I have my base coat and my top coat. These are both the Caption Conversion system. And here is the polish that I will be using today. It is a normal lacquer from Young Nails. And the color is Mission Complete. It's a very beautiful royal blue with a shimmer to it. So here I have prepped the nail lightly by pushing back the cuticles, lightly buffing. And I have used Young Nail Swipe, which is what you would use um, as a dehydrator. I have not used their Protein Bond, which is uh, their kind of primer product, um, but only because uh, this nail is going to be removed immediately after. But normally you would use your swipe, then you would use your protein bond, and then you would go in with your base coat, which is what I'm doing right now. And I'm going to cure for 30 seconds, but I forgot to switch my plug from my e-file to my lamp, so I was doing that right now. And I'm curing for 30 seconds. I hope everybody's having a good day. I thank you very much for tuning in and watching this process. I myself am fighting a cold as usual. I'm catching, I catch everything. But I'm sitting here this morning just enjoying the quiet. My kids are off to school and I am having my coffee and just having a little bit of me time. Okay, 30 seconds. Now, for this process, after you apply your base coat, you have to remove the inhibition layer that's left. You do not want to apply your lacquer on top of the inhibition layer. Okay, and I am not using a dry wipe. I am using a cleanser product, so. And next, you wanna go in with your protein bond, and this will just help the lacquer ad adhere a little bit better to the base gel layer. This base gel is amazing. It smooths things out really, really well. And you guys are really going to have to stay tuned for the removal video that's going to be coming up shortly. You are going to be amazed at how quickly this removes. But it lasts like a gel. I mean, it's, you know, two, three weeks, and it, it's perfectly fine, perfectly in place. So now that I've given the protein bond a minute to kind of air dry and get to its um, tacky, sticky state, now you want to go in with your color. And I am going to be doing two coats of this color, some colors from the caption line only require one coat but this one I found required two okay now that you've applied your color you want to make sure to use a cleanup brush and clean up any polish that you happen to get on the skin or anything. Or if your cuticle area application wasn't perfect, you can just go back in with that brush and clean up around there. And <clears throat> once you've done that, you want to set your timer for four minutes. They recommend that you wait at least four minutes between the application of the lacquer and the application of the next coat of base layer if you're doing another coat. So I sped that part up for you. Four minutes have passed and so now you're going to get your base coat again for this next layer. Every layer will be the same process. It will be base coat, wipe the inhibition layer, protein bond, then your normal lacquer and wait four minutes every coat. This base coat 
I, I really enjoy using. I find that it has like the perfect thickness, um, especially for lacquer because, um, you know, lacquer is thin and it tends to dry thin. And this base coat just smooths everything. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It doesn't run all over the place. And it, it creates like the perfect, um, you know, bedding for the lacquer layer. Okay, again, wipe off the inhibition layer. And then once again, you're going to go in with your protein bond. And with protein bond, you want to give it just a little bit of time to uh, air dry. Okay, now I'm going in with my second coat of color. And again, wait four minutes for the lacquer to dry. Okay, now it's time for top coat. This top coat is so shiny. Um, I've actually started using it with um, other things as well, like over acrylic or uh, builder gel sets and it does have an inhibition layer but I mean it, that's not a problem it's it's so shiny that it's worth having to wipe off an inhibition layer as opposed to using a non wipe top coat it is just so clear it's, it's amazing quality and I love this stuff and again cure for 30 seconds And the pricing on this set of base and top is actually pretty reasonable. They work out to around um, $8, $9 maybe um, per bottle. But every once in a while you can get it on a promo and get the set for around $12, which, um, you know, breaks down to $6 a piece. And the polishes themselves normally run about $6 a piece. So not a very expensive or pricey system, but it's beautiful, great quality, and works very, very well. Wiping off the inhibition layer from this top coat. Of course, I waited a little bit of time to let it cool down. Now I'm just fanning it to dry off the cleanser a little bit. So I hope you guys can see, I mean, this is normal lacquer. This is not a, a gel color system, and um, but it gives you, using the conversion system, it gives you the look of color gel with, you know, the, the normal lacquer that you've already, you know, probably got in your collection. So this is a cuticle oil pink passion fruit from NellSuperstore.com and it is kind of a sweet flowery, fruity smell. It's very nice. And that's it. We're all done. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the removal video that will be coming up shortly. You are going to be amazed at how fast this comes off. So until next time, happy nailing everyone.